Hello YouTube fam, get ready for an amazing video experience. Hello fellow enthusiasts, today we're diving deep into the fascinating world of Guy William Price. Western Front Awards equal Distinguished Service Cross and Bar Relations equal Later Work equal Flight Commander Guy William Price 6 July 1895 18 February 1918 was an Irish Royal Naval Air Service flying ace during World War I, having 12 confirmed aerial victories. He was awarded the Distinguished Service Cross twice within a 22-day period. Get ready for a captivating exploration as we unravel the layers of family background and their profound significance. Price was born in Rostreva, County Down, Ireland, the son of Frederick Walter Price and Francesca de Zarangen Rambout. He lost his father at an early age, since in a 1911 probate his mother is described as a widow. He later lived in Kingstown, County Dublin, Ireland. With the groundwork laid, let's now examine World War I and its connections to our previous discussions. On 9 December 1914, Flight Sub-Lieutenant Guy William Price RNAS was awarded Royal Aero Club Avitas Certificate No. 987 and on a Graham White biplane at their school at Hendon Aerodrome. Price was promoted to Flight Lieutenant on 28 June 1915 and on 3 July 1917 he was one of the four founder members of the Seaplane Defence Flight Later No. 13 Naval Squadron. This unit, flying SOC with PUP fighters, was formed at St. Paul sur Mer to escort unarmed short reconnaissance seaplanes used in the Dover Strait on anti-submarine patrols. However, Price would not achieve aerial success until late 1917, when he was posted to No. 8 Naval Squadron as a Sopwith Camel pilot. At 13.50 hours on 5 December 1917, he destroyed a German Albatros Duff fighter aircraft. Five minutes later, he helped squadron mate Flight Sub-Lieutenant Wilfred Harry Sneth drive down another Albatros Duff out of control for his second victory. The next day, Price teamed with Flight Sub-Lieutenant Harold Day to drive a DFW to seater reconnaissance aircraft down out of control. Day and Price replicated this success on both 27 and 28 December, making Price an ace. He was promoted to flight commander on 1 January 1918, and then next day, scored the first of the six solo victories he would score that month. This particular sortie was mentioned when he was awarded the Distinguished Service Cross. After shooting down in flames an enemy reconnaissance plane on the 6th, he drove down Albatros Doves on the 19th and 22nd, the latter win was noted in his second recommendation for the DSC. Price then destroyed another Albatros Dove on the 24th over La Basse. On 28 January, he incinerated another reconnaissance two-seater in the same locale. Finally, on 16 February 1918, he joined with Canadian ace Herbert Fowler in flaming another German reconnaissance two-seater. Two days later, Price went on a trench strafing mission with Theodore Rumble of just a 23 dove on him and shot him down. Price's first distinguished service cross was gazetted on 22 February 1918. The bar in lieu of a second award followed with unusual rapidity, being gazetted on 16 March 1918. Price, having no known grave, is commemorated at the Eras Flying Services Memorial, Pos de Calais, France. Get ready for a captivating exploration as we unravel the layers of honours and awards and their profound significance. Distinguished Service Cross in recognition of the gallantry and determination displayed by him in leading offensive patrols, which have constantly engaged and driven away enemy aircraft. On 2 January 1918, he observed seven albatross scouts, and, crossing the lines in the towns, he attacked one, which fell vertically, bursting into flames, and crashed to the ground. He has on several other occasions driven enemy aircraft down out of control. Part of the Distinguished Service Cross for consistency and determination in attacking enemy aircraft, often in superior numbers. On 22 January 1918, when on offensive patrol, he observed seven albatross scouts. 
he dived and fired into one of the enemy aircraft, which stalled, side-slipped, and eventually fell over on its back, disappearing through a thick bank of clouds, and was observed by others of our machines to fall completely out of control. On several other occasions he has destroyed enemy machines or brought them down completely out of control. I love hearing from you, so leave your thoughts and suggestions in the comments.